Hello, DP crazy lady here. It's uh, 3 p.m. It is Sunday. It's the 11th. It's August 2024. And this is GBFKE's, uh, I think they call it a Betty Boo or Betty Boop or I forget what it's called. There's 20 colors. It's a, a round. And this is what I've finished so far. Um, <laughs> I'm on the left bottom corner. I would have gotten a lot more done, but I've been busy, busy, busy. So I thought I'd be working on this right now and chat just a little bit. Um, I think I have this a little too bright for me. Let's see if it'll go down a little. There yeah. well, was just a little too bright. Oh, and if you happen to hear my stomach gurgle, sorry. It's uh, supper in a couple hours, and normally it doesn't bother me, but apparently it's bothering me now because I probably worked off everything I ate for breakfast, which was just the cottage cheese and tomatoes. So, uh, yesterday... I, I did some diamond painting yesterday, but yesterday I went out and uh, took my uh, spade shovel. Well, it's not a spade shovel. It's more squared shovel. The spade is the curved one. Anyway, and I went out into my driveway and started uh, hacking away and shoveling away at uh, the weeds growing up in the cracks of the driveway. I tried spraying uh, this weed killer stuff that I've had in the shed on all the, the weeds, the, the, you know, that's, it didn't do anything. It didn't kill anything. So I had, you know, thank goodness the ground, uh, the, the dirt that was in the cracks and stuff was still wet from all the rain we had gotten the last uh, few days that it shoveled up pretty good. So I got, like yesterday I did like half. <clears throat> I did half of it, ran out of steam, uh, had the battery charged on my weed whacker, and I realized after I checked it, it's full of thread. It's just that I had to make it pop out more. Uh, I opened it up and looked at it, and that's how I knew there was a lot of string in there. So I did some weed whacking. Um... I haven't got in the shed to uh, bring out my dishes and stuff. I'll probably maybe, I don't know, Monday, Tuesday, somewhere around there, maybe I can get to them. But, uh, oh, it was, I was tired yesterday and I ended up just after supper, I conked out. So, uh, today I got up went down to the uh, pet store because my daughter had to get kitty litter and I had to get uh, dog food for Liam. Well, they have it in the uh, in the back on their trucks, but uh, it's not out yet. And I, I suspect they couldn't go back and get it. Thank goodness I have enough dog food for him for the next couple of days. Uh, they said it should be on the shelf Monday or Tuesday. So I'm going to make sure I call them first before I go down there. I'm not wasting my gas. Because he eats that uh, vital, uh, it, uh, forget, the, it's uh, chicken and uh, a sweet potato or something mix. And it's, uh, you know, you have to refrigerate it. And I get the big bag the biggest bag they have, which isn't, I think it's only like four and a half to five pounds. It's not a lot, but usually it'll last him a month. And, uh, I found that's the only dog food he really, really likes because we've tried several and, uh, he's not putting on weight and he's not losing weight. So apparently it's working good for him. So we, uh, stopped there and uh, did that uh, then I came home well I stopped at the gas station and put uh, a couple dollars worth of gas in uh, my uh, 
lawnmower can, uh, gas can, and came home and uh, got the mower out, took, uh, went around to the big side of the yard and mowed it, and then took my weed whacker, because I had to charge the battery again, and I charged it for a day and a half, so I knew, you know, the green light came on, so that meant that it was a solid charge. So I went out and uh, whacked some weeds around uh, the small side here and then around to the other side and then mowed the grass, finished uh, shoveling the cracks of the driveway, which was a uh, pain. And uh, I'm going to have to get a small, well, I've got that other little saw, but I need like a little hacksaw with a uh, skinny blade uh, a skinny blade some kind of saw because i've got the dangling ivy is all over the place and it's clinging to my shed and some of the some of the uh, roots are probably are almost as big around as this pen and i can't weed whack them i'm gonna have to hack them and and i sprayed i sprayed for them and stuff but apparently it doesn't kill ivy so I'm polluted out there with ivy toward the back end of the mobile home. And I got to get rid of it somehow. Anybody got suggestions that doesn't poison everybody? Oh, gosh, I hate that stuff. Because then it, it, you know, it like grows to the wood, you know, or clings to everything. It, ugh, it's disgusting. So... I did all that, got the uh, grass mowed on both sides, did a little weed whacking. My daughter went out and cleaned off the uh, deck. I'm going to have to go out there tomorrow, and I've got a grill out there I haven't used in two or three years, but i got to go out and take some bleach water and uh, a brush and scrub the outside of it, scrub the inside, and, you know... I, I don't use it because normally, I don't even know why I bought it, but I haven't used it in a while because it's always been so dang on hot to stand out on the deck. I have a uh, umbrella, but I got to drag it out and attach it, you know, bungee it because I don't have a table that it sits down in. So I have to bungee it uh, around the post, around one of the uh, posts on the deck and uh, it's just a pain but it doesn't go like over top the grill and it and being that it's hot outside doesn't matter if the sun's beating on you or not beating on you when it's hot out it's hot out and i don't do much cooking outside and it's not a gas grill you know it's a uh, you know you put your briquettes and stuff in it so and my brother always threatens, you know, as soon as I get a car and soon, you know, I need to come over, we need to cook out and everything else. I, I don't cook out. He likes cooking out. He likes going out there and just sitting and, you know, chilling near the grill and stuff. It don't bother him, but it bothers me. But he hasn't been out here in quite a while because he didn't have a car and uh, I can't pick him up and take him back half the time so when he gets a car then he'll come around bugging me <laughs> so uh i came in after mowing all the grass and weed whacking and stuff got in the shower i was roasting got in the shower and uh, nice cool shower nice i feel refreshed <laughs> And I can sit here and diamond paint because I keep putting off mowing the grass. I hate mowing the grass. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, I hate any kind of outdoor yard work. I, uh, that's just not me. Uh, you know, I've got the only thing I have to do this fall is as soon as uh, the Rosa Sharon quits blooming and... Uh, it's hits you know in the fall i'm got a whack the thing is taller than my mobile home and it shouldn't be that big 
and it blooms at the very top a few uh, flowers. My mom says, you know, wait till till the fall when the leaves come off and then just uh, like cut it in half, you know, whack it down because it needs it. And uh, then I have all them hostas out there, which my mother planted them uh, 20 years ago when I moved here. She came and planted hostas. And I, they're all over the one side of my mobile home. And uh, I have some other of those little uh, dwarf pine trees uh, alongside my driveway. And I have one on the other side uh, of my mobile home near my deck. Um, that uh, I got to remove at least one of them from uh, my driveway side because it's blocking the mobile home next door, the very corner by the way it, it started growing so I want to pull it out of the ground and get rid of it it's uh, some guy said oh I know how to trim these things up and he hacked away at it and now the darn thing looks like uh, half skeleton I don't know what the heck he did he did it a year ago and it's never come back right so it needs to be pulled out of there anyway and other than that and then, like I said before, I think I mentioned before, the wild roses came back after 15, 16 years after I pulled them all out of there and tried to get rid of them because they blocked uh, the one side of my deck. Now they're back. So I figure they got that much tenacity after all these years and show back up, you can stay. You know. So... Um, after uh, after I finish this, I've got to get back to my uh, uh, my gnome. I was working on it. It's got the pumpkins on the bottom and stuff. So I'll get back to them and then find something else I want to diamond paint. I'm enjoying these smaller smaller ones because I can get to them right away. Uh, I got to start <clears throat> going through my portfolio and pulling out my. Uh, 30 by 40s and start getting them done that's why they're there that's why I bought them that's why my daughter got them for me uh, as soon as the uh, Christmas or the see Thanksgiving and Christmas I'm, I'm probably going to start my last craftably I only have the one and it's the uh, horse with the cardinal. It's winter Christmas scene. Oh, I'm going to hate so much to do it and finish it and not have it anymore. Uh, but at least it'll be done. Uh, I'll enjoy doing it because I loved craftably. I was looking for that other one, the librarian. But it's on eBay. But uh, maybe it'll be on eBay next month. It's on eBay, and I think they're asking like $60 or best offer. And I think it said free standard shipping, but I'm not sure what that means. I haven't, I haven't used or been to eBay in, well, it was definitely, uh, I think, before I moved here, so what, 20 years. I haven't really been on eBay and bothered with anything there, but it was at least they had it. That's one of the ones I wanted when they were uh, still in business, and I was going to try and you know save up for it or whatever. And uh, but I went out of business, closed down, and that went with it. <laughs> so. Maybe, maybe I'll be lucky <clears throat> next month that I may have a few extra dollars. And if it's still available. So, you know, um, you know, like I said, I think this has turned out kind of cute. I mean, it's, it's not supposed to be, you know, a perfect depiction 
of her in all the the you know more flesh tones and things like that it's she's a cartoon character so that's and i think it's cute i like you know i love the rainbow colors here those are really pretty so yeah nothing else uh, i'm gonna oh for supper today i'm just gonna make a couple hot dogs uh a handful of uh, roasted potatoes I'll do in the oven. And I think I'm going to make a huge helping of broccoli. So, I just wanted to make something that I didn't have to stand around and cook. And as we had chicken tenders yesterday and uh, zucchini, and that's what we had yesterday. So, I just, I, I am, I'm just too tired to be uh, standing over the stove and cooking. I did get another ribeye steak uh, at the beginning of the month, and it's in the freezer. So as soon as I, you know, get the craving for it, I'm gonna make it, and it's a nice thick one. It's not huge round-wise, but it's nice and thick. So that'll be split between my daughter and I. I figure once a month, hey, I'm going to have a steak. And then, so thanks for the suggestion, y'all, on the ribeyes, because boy, are they good. And don't have to put anything on them. Eat them, you know, no sauce, just a little salt and pepper, and there you go. And they are delicious. So, I guess I'm babbling a lot, ain't I? About nothing. Let's see, what do I... Um, trying to think what else is going on. Nothing. I mean, it's... Haven't been watching much anything other than some YouTube, catching a few things here and there. Um... Let's see. What's the temperature outside? Well, in here it's 75. So it's got to be at least about that. My room stays a bit warmer. But uh, it's probably about that outside. There's a nice breeze. When I first came in, I uh, turned the AC on real quick. Just so I could cool down. And... Uh, I had to lower the uh, thingy because uh, it was only 74 degrees in the kitchen. But when I walked in from all that work outside, I was really, really hot. So I dropped it so it would at least come on <clears throat> until I cooled down. Then I turned it off, took my shower. And uh, it's cool enough in here. Why not cool? But, I mean, it's decent enough in here that I don't have to have the A.C. on. I'm going to open my window here in a little bit because I see outside a lot of breeze. I see the trees swaying and stuff. I'm waiting to see if it's going to rain because it was supposed to rain yesterday and it didn't, which, thank goodness. Uh, because there's no way, you know, I was going to be able to mow the grass today if it rained. It would have just been way too wet and thick. But I got it done today, so that's done for at least two weeks. Because I am, if I mow grass on a steady time, it will be every two weeks. Because the beginning of my yard around the corner area and stuff is nice grass. Then I have a huge, huge monster of a maple tree that's near the deck. Doesn't put enough shade on her, but it's near the deck. And then... I have a row of pine trees that are along the edge of my yard between uh, my yard and the road. There's a uh, line of pine trees. So because there's so much shade there, my grass, there really isn't any. I mean, it's grass, but it's some weeds and whatever. So when you mow or weed whack, that's all you're doing is whacking weeds, you know, bare patches. Uh, I thought about throwing down uh, shade grass, but 
then that's more for me to mow. This way, when it's like that, I don't even have to really mow it. I just run the weed whacker over top and be done with it. But there's just too much shade there for me to grow. That's why I would say I wanted to have a little garden because I could. But nothing will grow over there. Uh, it's too shady. You know, it doesn't get enough sun on that side. So, and I could try it on this side over here, but that's where, uh, you know, Liam goes all the time because I tried taking him on the other side of the yard and he freaks out. He doesn't like that side of the yard, the bigger side. I don't know what his issue is. You know, so I figure, hey, he made a decision. That's what he wants. So, I'm not going to force him. So, um, I said not a whole lot else to babble about. I mean, somebody said the schools in Louisiana went back already. That's early, I guess. I thought ours uh, kids go back to school here toward the end of August. I'm not even sure. And then some of you had to work over this weekend. And, you know, I hope you didn't work too hard. Um, you know, and those of you that... I, I would have loved to went fishing this year. I didn't, you know, maybe next year I get a chance to fish. I have to get a new fishing pole. Cheapy. Don't need a fancy smancy fishing pole. I don't keep the fish anyway. I just like to sit there and, you know, catch them, throw them back in. So it's no big deal to me. I'd say you have to get your fishing license, you know. So, maybe next year I'll find a decent place to fish. I don't want to fish uh, where everybody else is and stuff. I'd rather go somewhere where there's not a lot of people and you can sit there and take a little lunch with you and, you know, chill near the water and just fish I'm, I have a lot of patience when I go fishing I always have that's the way my dad you know used to take us fishing all the time and I could sit there for hours and hours just sitting and you know I mean I like the idea that you know you get nibbles and catch them and stuff but I enjoy just sitting and you know, with the pole in the water. It was a lot of fun. So, I mean, that's the extent of my hunting. You know, I don't do none of that stuff, of course. But, well, I'm just about done with this little section right here. So, finish it and then uh, say goodbye. And, uh, Hope you all, you know, enjoying your weekend. Monday shows up and everybody's either back to work or, uh, you know, back to whatever routine they have. I don't have a routine. Uh, I still got a few things left to do in the kitchen. I still have to move my furniture in the living room so that I can uh, clean behind everything. Uh, kind of like a mid, uh, you know, you got your spring cleaning and then you got your fall cleaning. This is kind of like prior to fall, almost fall. Move stuff around and, you know, Get it ready for when you don't do anything like that in the winter. So I'll get to that. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to find either kitty toys or puppy toys under the couch, in the couch, behind the couch. You know, it, it, they're going to be there. Um, eventually, I think I got to get a new couch. I only like the two seaters. That's 
the only what I have in there is a two seat couch. Fits perfect in there, works for you know there's only that my daughter and I plus uh I've got an antique rocker in there, I've got two chairs, you know, there's more than enough if anybody happens to visit, which that doesn't happen very often. So well, I think I've reached the end, y'all. And uh, like I said, this is as far as I've gotten. And since I've already done most everything I needed to do outdoors, uh, I've got about three or four more loads of laundry to do. And then uh, that'll be done. And finish cleaning up, you know, my kitchen and living room and vacuum in here. And that'll be it, too. So, oh, these things are popping. So, I hope everybody, uh, you know, is having a good, uh, good day. Hope the weather is good where you are. Um... Yep, this one's a little stiff. It's hard sometimes to get it to work. So, yeah, I'm going to get off here. I think I've bored you more than enough. And see how much further I can get. So, oh. I'm going to be sore tomorrow. I know it. How my muscles are going to go. What were you doing out there? Uh, stuff I don't normally do. That's what I was doing. Uh, so, y'all have a good one. Hope you weren't too bored. I enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I will try and get back with you tomorrow uh, on the 12th. So, have a good one. Hugs. Deepy crazy lady. She's out.